All right, this circuit is the opposite of the other circuit that I posted. This one, the LED will illuminate when the voltage drops to a specific level. On the other one, I have the LED will illuminate as the voltage rises to a preset level. On this one, the LED will illuminate as the voltage drops. So say you have a 12.6 uh, volt lead acid battery and you have a, a load on that battery and you want to make sure you don't drain it all the way down. You want to have an idea what the voltage is at. You could set this to come on around like 11 or 10, whatever you want to set it for. So I'll demonstrate right now. I found this online, this uh, circuit. It was pretty simple. It consists of two resistors. It called for a 1.5K, but I only had 1K. So, but they do work fine. The current's not that much. So I used a 1K here, 1K here. That's a 9.1 Zener. And this one here is a 3.3. .3. And the diode, I mean the diode, <laughs> the LED goes between these two components, the positive leg, and on those two components is the negative leg of the LED. It's basically like a, a, a circuit that's in balance and out of balance. When this side of the circuit has too much voltage on it, it will not light up. When it has less and this one has more, it'll flow through and down. So right now, same as before, this is the voltage regulator I'm using. It's set for 11.8 right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it right here. All right. Right now it says 11.8 on the meter. I'm going to read you the numbers as it goes. I'm going to slowly turn it. 11.7, 11.5, 11.1, 10.8, 10.2, 9.8, 9.7. When it approaches the 9.1, it's going to start to come on. 9.5. 9.4. Now this is the same as the other one. It's got about a 0.15 spread from when it starts to come on and full brightness. So it's going to start coming on any minute. We're at 939. There it goes at 9.3. And right there is 9.15. So this one is set to come on around 9.1 volts if the battery drops. Now I'm going to put the voltage back up again to 11.8 to shut that off. All right, how this one determines when it goes on, I usually just leave the 3.3 in. This is a 3.3 volt Zener. So don't touch this side of the circuit. But this one here is a 9.1. So say you want it, it's, what determines when it comes on is pretty much this 9.1. So say you want this to come on at 6.2. Take this out and put a 6.2 volt Zener in. Say you really want it to come on around like 6.8 or 7 volts and you don't have the Zener for that. You're going to leave the 6.2 here, but you're going to pop out this leg that connects to the negative on the battery. And you're going to put in series forward bias, just like a 1N4148. And that'll add the extra 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So now it'll come on around 7 volts. It's a great circuit. So you could use it up to like 15 volts. Just remember that you want to make sure that your voltage is determined by this Zener right here, the higher one, which in this case is 9.1. And this will start, this, that's when this LED will be fully lit at 9.1. So you put a 6.2, fully lit a 6.2. You put a 7 point something, that's when it comes on. You could put a, say you're running on 14 volts with the alternator running. And you could put this a 12 volt Zener, and that'll come on at 12. Or you could add, like I said, in series, this one right here, which is a 1N4148, and that'll add an extra 0 0.6, 0 0.7. You've got to add it between here and the negative. And then it'll, instead of coming on at 12, it'll come on around 12.6, 12.7.
which means the alternator is not on and you just got regular battery voltage. Great circuit to let you know when the voltage is dropping to a specified level. Okay, I just wanted to try to see if one of these piezo buzzers would work. And actually, it does work. I'm going to turn the, the thing right here to show you. Just turn it a little bit. Comes on fine. It gets louder as it gets more towards that set voltage. The one thing I notice is that the voltage though is different. Before it would activate the LED at the 9.1 volt Zener. Now it goes a little higher, like 10 point something. So you can compensate if you're going to use a piezo buzzer. But they do work.